So I wanted to start by thanking all of you very, very much for the hard work um, and commitment that was very evident over the Christmas and New Year period. I know that an enormous amount of time and energy had gone into the planning within the hospital, but also working with our colleagues across North West Surrey, and it really made a big difference. I was in the hospital Christmas Day and in touch over the New Year period, and although we were busy and although we were challenged at times, we've come through that winter uh, challenging uh, Christmas period in relatively good shape. And really that's down to all of you um, and the hard work that you put into keeping the hospital in a good place and importantly looking after our patients and each other. So a really big thank you. Now clearly we continue to be under pressure. It's still the winter. Um, nationally, there's a lot of pressure on accident and emergency departments at the moment, and we're clearly seeing some of that. So I am aware of how hard you are all working. We keep talking to the team and others across the emergency care pathway around what we can do differently, how we can respond and support one another in meeting that challenge. But once again, a big thank you for taking such great care of all our patients every day. Many of you will have heard the big news of this week is that yesterday our board and the Royal Surrey County Hospitals Board have approved to proceed with the full business case that was presented for our proposed merger and this is great news. Now it's not the end of the story and it's not the final decision. A lot of work still needs to be done and we will be working with all of you to develop the plans in greater detail We've also got to engage with Monitor, the regulator, who will come and take a look at our plans and give us a risk assessment rating on whether or not they think those plans are fit for purpose and indeed whether there's any further work to be done. But in, in simple terms, this is a very big milestone on that journey and certainly it signals a very clear intent to complete that process. Now, we are currently working towards a start date of summer 2016 and as I have said to you all before, um, whilst we're keen to get this done as quickly as possible and to limit the amount of time that people feel uncertain about what's going to happen, that may go out a little bit into the autumn and we will keep you informed of how that happens. Now, of course, I understand you will all be wondering what does that mean for you as individuals? What about your role in the organisation? What about the future? But also it will create a sense of opportunity and that the future is more secure. And I want you to think about those two things as you're reflecting on this decision. Please spend time with your managers. Please visit the website where there's more information. And of course, if you've got any concerns or you want to know what's going on, please come and ask me or see me anytime.